I mean, for me, you know, not too many people think of documentaries as a business, but for me, it's a business. Emmy award-winning producer, director, and owner of Stick Figures Production, Steve Cantor, class of 90, visited Colgate to screen his newest documentary, James Blunt, Return to Kosovo. But his main reason for revisiting was to show Colgate students there are other career opportunities than law and finance. Cantor recalls upon his graduation not knowing what direction to take. It just didn't occur to me that there was any option in creative fields. And so now that I'm in it, you know, I still... Colgate obviously holds a place in my heart since I spent four years here. And so when I came back the first time, I could see like the kids were like really interested to see that someone like me was having a career in film and television. And so I feel like I'm, we've, I've hired a lot of the interns now to work for me, a lot of Colgate students as interns. A graduate of USC Film School in fiction film, Cantor has used his style to capitalize on the reality TV boom with shows like Family Bonds and Amish in the City, as well as documentaries Bounce, Behind the Velvet Rope, Devil's Playground, and features on Willie Nelson and the Pixies. try as much as possible to take my cues from the narrative and scripted shows that I really like. And that's primarily what I watch, is scripted shows. So I try not to use the traditional conventions of like interviews and voiceover and narration and, you know, stay away from the sort of talking head boring thing and make it as visceral an experience as possible. His advice for students interested in a career in entertainment? Very, very tough to break into the industry, so I'd say find a place where you want to work and call that place and don't stop calling and say, do what I did, just say, you're here, you're in town, you're hungry, you want to work, you'll work for free. Just do whatever you can to get in the door. Watch out for Cantor's newest show, Base Jumpers, on the Discovery Channel and documentary on PETA, I Am an Animal.